One of the most overlooked causes of premature brake pad failure is rotor thickness variation. That's right, rotor thickness variation is the variation of thickness in the rotor that occurs over time and one of the things that causes that is a buildup of rust and dirt right around the stud area on the rotor. So in other words, when we put the wheel on, it'll be uneven and it'll cause some vibration which will actually over time cause the thickness of the rotor to vary from place to place to place. So a part of every brake job is going to be to clean this area up around the studs and between the studs of the rotor surface. And there's a great little tool for that and this is what it is. We'll put it into our grinder and put it onto the stud and clean the area up around each stud and, and in between. So let me show you how to put this tool together. Start off with an angle grinder and mount the adapter into the angle grinder. Tighten it up. And like any chuck, you want to be sure that you tighten it up evenly all the way around, not just in one hole, all the way around. Now screw the abrasive pad onto the adapter. And don't forget safety goggles. Now here's the correct way to do this. Don't let it free spin. First put it onto the stud and then apply a moderate pressure and then spin the grinder. That's all that's required to clean that area nice and clean. Look at how nice that came out. There, now we've got a nice clean surface in between and all around each of these wheel bolts. And this is going to go a long way in helping to prevent premature pad failure. These little abrasive discs last a long time. Probably one will do several brake jobs, but when they finally do wear out, you just unscrew them and uh, put a new one on and you're ready to go again. So remember, make this part of every brake job, clean them up, and this will help prevent comebacks.